What's going on guys? It's your boy Scrub here and I have some very awesome news out of the world of Overwatch. For those of you that have not heard the news yet, we are getting a new support healer and her name is Moira. Let's get right into this. So right after introducing the new map of Blizzard World, Jeff Kaplan said that it was time for them to introduce the Neo Hero, and that here was Moira. It opens up to a scene of her basically having this yellow tank that suddenly turns purple as she's moving around the map with the fluidity to her that indicates that she's going to be a high mobility hero. Outside of that, it appears that she has the ability to heal with her yellow fluid for her teammates and that the purple fluid damages others. She also has this really awesome ability that we see in the preview where she kind of mist wraiths and bullets go through her and she's impossible to hit. Very similar to Reaper's Shadow Step was a good comparison that I heard to it on Twitter. But beyond that, guys, it appears that she's going to have main healer capabilities, at least from what is implied from the trailer. We don't see any other healers on her team. We see her being able to heal people through a Pharah ult. So at least it looks like we are actually getting a healer that has the capacity to solo heal and do the thing that we've been waiting for to give Ana and Mercy a little bit of a break. We were in desperate need of a support hero, so I'm very grateful that Jeff and the Overwatch team decided to add one into the game because it was getting to the point where support heroes were having that redundant, boring gameplay. And Moira looks different from every other support hero as well. She looks like a high mobility, high output, and actually damaging hero. So maybe we'll get kind of a hybrid between a Mercy and a Zenyatta, which I think would be absolutely fascinating. Someone that can do damage while also being able to heal their team effectively at the same time. Outside of that, we did get a glimpse at her ultimate. She basically shoots this pulse out of her hand that's a mixture of these two fluids, and it can killed everything in its path and also healed everything in its path at the same time. The only thing I feel like might be trouble, there might be some balancing issues if the beam actually does kill people as fast as it did in that reveal trailer. There's definitely going to be some issues with the balancing because it killed tanks in like 0.4 seconds, so that might be a problem. But I feel like the healing just basically lets you power through an ult, which I cannot wait to see. That's all the information we have for right now, guys. If you enjoy, be sure to press that like button, comment down below, and subscribe. We're going to be releasing more and more news about this hero as we get more of it, so be sure to stay tuned on the channel. And on that note, my name is Scrubby. Have an absolutely amazing day. Just a little bit more information here. The more I watch the trailer, the more I have to say. Basically, it looks like she releases this ball of healing into the air that heals everyone within her range, which I think is very similar to an orb, but it looks like that has the healing capability of a Mercy or an Ana. And along with that, Jeff himself has kind of addressed what I said earlier, where it looks like there's going to be some balancing issues because he said, if you know how to spell Moira, it's O-P-A-F. So I think the Overwatch team knows they're going to have to make some tweaks and whatnot to her abilities. But overall, I would say it's very, very awesome that they're adding in a healer that has the capability to main heal, which is what we've needed for so long. As for her potential impact on the meta, I'm very excited to see how she merges into the current meta where we've seen a lot of solo healing, if that will continue, if she's going to encourage the play between more than one healer. We did another video on the channel about how desperately we needed a new support hero, and I basically said it's very important that they add a healer that encourages multi-support play in order to make sure that healers aren't having so much pressure on them. So I'm very interested to see if that happens. I'm also interested to see how she combos with Zenyatta, the Discorp orb, and also her purple fluid to together might give people insane damage bonuses that we haven't seen before, so maybe we're going to see Zenyatta jump up in the meta as well. This is all speculation, but I am very excited to see her get added into the game. We should be seeing her on the PTR sooner rather than later, so be sure to keep your eyes peeled on that. We're going to be getting gameplay literally as soon as possible. Other than that, guys, it also appears that her purple energy does do massive damage. There's a scene where she kills a Hanzo with a purple ball and basically says, you know, that's the scatter area for you. Some quippy remark about Hanzo and his skillless ability. So we don't really know how she's going to fit into the game, and to me, that's amazing. The fact that we couldn't tell immediately from the trailer exactly what her abilities are and how to use them is a very good sign that they've been working on this hero and trying to integrate new abilities into the game in order to make it more interesting and fun for players who have been playing for a while.